Hello everyone, how are we all doing? Today I'm going to show you how to make or how to get the best tasting beef and stockfish when you want to prepare your Nigerian soup. Of course, and this method is very fast, it's faster than normal. But if you have a pressure cooker, please do not use this method. Okay, so what is it? You just need your beef already washed, your stockfish, um, seasoning, uh, salt, and onion. So you wash it in a clean, dry pot like this. I'm dropping the meat like this. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot because I don't want water to go into it. That's why I'm dropping it like this. Uno by uno, one by one. Okay, then I put my rinsed, very properly rinsed stockfish. Look at that head. Look at how it's looking. The fish head is looking like it's angry. See now, see. Look at it. Like Nengi, waiting, waiting. Don't waste my time. <laughs> okay, so I just added seasoning powder, some salt. And of course, my onion is coming. If you have pepper, you can add pepper if you like. It is optional if you like. If not, do it like this. And do not put water at all. So when, when I said if you're using a pressure pot, do not use this method. is because you need water for pressure pot. You can't do this magic with your pressure pot. You, you need water from the beginning. But with this one, you don't need water at all. When you put your seasoning, salt, on, onion, or onions, as the case may be, you just stir it properly. So everything will melange and mix very, very well. Then you cover your pot and cook. No water at all. Now, if you're conversant with this channel, you, should, you would know that our meat, we don't add water. Ab initial. That's when we just start cooking our meat. When we just start boiling our meat, we don't add water at all. This is to get the best tasting meat, one, and it will help it cook faster, too. And then it will infuse all the flavors. All the flavors. Yes, that's the reason why we do this. So I'll cover. And then, but you have to be watching it. For, watch it be fast. Be checking. Look, can you see? We didn't put water. No water at all, but see, where did this water come from? Uh -huh. The beef is releasing all its juices, all its liquids. So this is the aim. It will release everything. You just watch it closely. Can you see? It's boiling. We didn't put water. Where's the water? Where did the water come from? Okay, kitchen magic. <laughs> okay, so we allow it like this. Release all the water. Cook before we now add our own water. And when we add our own water, it has to be little by little. Now see, see the quantity of water we have when we've not added water at all. Isn't this magic? Isn't this magic? Ah, it's no magic. It's just cooking style, making it easy. So this method, just like I had told you, it makes your meat get soft very fast and it infuses the flavor more than when you just start cooking and you pull water. That one is just like you're baptizing, you're, you're, you're watering the meat putting it inside a river, a river of water. No. So now we'll come back and check it. Just be close to the meat. Be close. I can't tell you for five minutes or 10 minutes or seven minutes, be close. Be close because your heat might not be the same as mine. Look at it now. It is ready. If you do not put water now, your meat will get burnt and you don't want that at all. So look at it. This is time for water. So you just bring water. Remember, another secret for this thing is when you bring your water, do not add too much at once. Little by little, little by little. There's a there's a proverb that says petit a petit l'oiseau fait son nid. Little by little, the bird the bird builds its nest. So this is this one. Small, 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 small. Gradually, gradually, you keep cooking till you get your desired texture. This one, this particular one, is toddler standard. Yes, I've added water. See how it is boiling. Put, 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 put. Yes, it will keep boiling. You keep boiling as you want, as you desire. If you like it hard, some people like it hard. And if you like it hard, you don't even need to add water. That first two time when it boils, it releases all, all, releases all its juices. It will be ready for you. If not, this one, it don't like eating this one. So it has to be very, very soft. Even if you do not have teeth, you can still chew this one with your gum. Yes. You see how it, it will be when we're done. See the stock, very rich. Tell me, if you use this one to cook, why won't the food be sweet? If you use this stock, it will be sweet because it is rich, enhanced, creamy, yummy, delicious. <laughs> okay, so 
it's almost ready almost ready see now i'm looking for the one i would shred very 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 easy with this one you don't need to if you're giving it to a child you don't need to even say you're cutting it it will just drum 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 it will just shred on its own and it's this one is very good for shredded beef sauce yes our meat is ready it took about um this one took about 40 minutes to get ready now look at it it's ready look at it see Dollar standard. Welcome back to Nengi's Kitchen. Boil your own and tell me how it went. Do not forget, don't put water from the beginning. So, I am going now. Oh yeah, now. Bye. <laughs>